guys welcome back to my channel where we discuss popular mainstream music and in this video we're gonna be going over the R&B girls okay the R&B girls now before um, I did a video on the pop girls and we covered them and now we're going to do a cover of the R&B girls okay so definitely excited about that but before we get into that, if you enjoyed the little snippet of music in the beginning of this video, that is my music. Definitely check it out, okay? The link is in the description box below, and you can check out my music here on YouTube. All you have to do is type my name, Sam Dolphin, and you can also listen to my music on all um, streaming music platforms such as Spotify and Apple Music. So definitely check it out. I'd really appreciate it. But getting back into the video, okay, with the R&B girls. Now, I always do videos where I rally up all the relevant girls in a certain genre, whether it be the hip-hop girls, the R&B girls, the pop girls, okay? And we talk about each one of them in the industry, how they're doing their influence and everything. Also, as just as a disclaimer, um, I... I'm not doing this in any type of particular order, so there is no particular order with this. Um, however, the last female that I'm that I'm going to name is going to be the girl that I believe is like the it girl for the moment, for all the R&B girls. Okay, so there's no particular order, but I will just choose one girl to represent the top it girl. All right, so. Yes, without further ado, let's get into the list, okay? Um, but I'm going to start off with Normani, okay? Normani, Normani, Normani. Ah, my gosh, all right. So, it's actually interesting that I have Normani on the R&B girl list because prior to that, I always considered Normani a pop girl. But as time has passed, it's clear that Normani wants to be an R&B girl. So she's here and Dopamine is definitely primarily an R&B album. There are some pop songs and some pop hints, but it is ultimately an R&B album. So she definitely deserves to be on the R&B girls list, okay? So with Normani being an R&B girl, out of all the girls on the list, Normani definitely is the most challenging um, because again, she has so much potential. And I just did a video on Normani um, so you can check that out, but um, Norma, it's the same issue. No music, no content, um, no consistency. So Normani is great. She's perfect because um, she has all the potential. But of course, like we always say, there is no consistency. Her album, Dopamine, has no music videos out, um, no performances, you know, so the promotion is it's very low and then the effort on her end in terms of like social media and what she can do with that is also very low so dopamine the album in general as an r&b girl normani definitely had one of the worst rollouts simply because there was no follow through there was just no follow through like everything looked very nice the visuals um i remember seeing like a lot of the visuals for the teasing of the album and i thought they were very beautiful very sleek it was like black white like very sleek but there was no follow-up um as always um and i'm not here to speculate about why there is none again i did a whole video on normani but uh, what i will say is that with all the R&B girls on here, they also don't have a lot of promotion, okay? A lot of the other R&B girls, and we're going to get into them, they also don't have promotion. But what these girls have that I don't see Normani doing is they have drive. They use social media. They, they use the social media apps. They use everything in their power. They put out content, you know? And I've seen Normani, you know, put money in her own videos and do stuff like that, but... There's more of a follow through with the other R&B girls versus Normani. So I've come up with a conclusion that I feel like R&B in general just gets less push and support and promotion. But because we're in this age of the Internet, there's things that you can do about it. Um, and with Normani's popularity, there's so much that she can do. She can still be successful even without major label support. The next girl I want to mention is Mariah the Scientist. Now, Mariah the Scientist, she's been out, 
since like the late 2010s um and i think she was signed um i believe with tori lanes and she got out of that label um you know um and got in her own thing but mariah scientist kind of gives me the vibe of janae Iko, where she is influencing r&b on a very low-key level but still very prominent um she has some jammers okay like stone cold i always listen to that song it's like such a jammer um, but she has jammers and a lot of R&B fans are listening to her or are jamming with her music. Um, so she kind of gives me that vibe of like a Janae Aiko. Now, she isn't like the best performer or best singer, but she is a really good writer. Okay. And that's fine with me. You got to do something right. <laughs> um, she's a good writer and she makes a good tune. Um, so I really see her kind of going in that direction, that route that Janae Aiko went where she wasn't completely mainstream like in your face but still like completely like the face of r&b like janae i could really run that shit low key um and i'm seeing that with Mar um mariah the scientist where a lot of people are digging her music a lot of r&b fans dig her music on the low and she's a really good songwriter and knows how to make something catchy and something that you'll stay listening to so you know mariah the scientist you know don't sleep on her she is like a shark she's sneaky um but that is kind of r&b r&b is low-key but they come out of nowhere so um she might be a silent killer but definitely watch out for her um i've definitely been hearing about mariah the scientist a lot um so i've been looking more into her music i'm like you know this the next girl on my list is chloe bailey okay chloe bailey which i'm very excited for um chloe bailey just released her album trouble in paradise incredible album i'm still listening to it and i will be doing album reviews um i've been getting a lot of comments to do album i will be doing album reviews but the thing about album reviews is i i like to listen to an album fully it takes time because i, I want to get all the details and everything but Chloe just released an amazing album. When I tell you the vocals, like, because this is what I was asking for, and she literally delivered. The vocals on this album are absolutely amazing. The vocal production, the vocal ability, the vocal execution is amazing. The harmonies, there's belting in this album, which I haven't heard belting in a long time. Um, the melodies are so beautiful. She's really making like really beautiful music um, There's meaning into her music like I'm actually getting a feel of how Chloe feels Chloe is perfect for R&B because she has the perfect swag for it. Chloe has so much talent Her vocal ability is so amazing her performance skills the way she is as a performer She can upscale the vocals for R&B okay because even though r b is known for a vocal genre a lot of people just aren't giving vocals just being honest but she is one of the girls that can up the vocals for r&b like really up the vocals for r&b which is why i feel like chloe is so important because r&b is so much about vocals so the girls who are the songwriters are going to do well but the vocalists are so needed in r&b in order for these songs to truly be executed the way we used to listen to it in the 90s <laughs> so chloe bailey is so perfect for r&b um, but her album is freaking amazing like this girl is so talented. She's a writer. She really understands musicality She really understands song arrangement and structure and she can deliver. Oh my gosh. She delivered vocally here I mean, it's amazing. It's like church. It's like gospel a bit. It's amazing and there's feeling and there's emotion and then she's an excellent performer which is another thing that um 
R&B needs, great performers. So Chloe is so good for R&B. Despite all the criticism that she gets, she still puts herself out there. And I always believe in Chloe, like even in, in pieces, like I remember I made the video about Chloe and the criticism, which I get a lot of views from that. So many people were criticizing her, but I knew no Chloe has it in her. The next um, artist for the R&B girls is Coco Jones, okay, Coco Jones. Coco Jones is incredibly talented, incredibly talented, and so good for R&B because she's another example, just like Chloe Bailey, when I, when I talk about the vocals. She's another vocalist, okay, and a vocalist really gives it, okay? Now, Some girls are like okay at singing, but when it comes to Coco, Coco gives it. She's not only a good vocalist, but she's a good vocal performer. And what that is, is basically connecting your vocals to the audience, knowing how to perform, being um, intent, um, having high attention to the audience, performing your song to them, eye contact with the audience. Like she's so good at that. She's so good at performing and giving a moment. And her voice, what I love about her voice is that she's an alto. You know, unlike, um, you know, Chloe. Chloe's a soprano. Most women are sopranos. But when you come across a true alto, <sighs> altos have such unique tones. Smoky, nice voices. And when you put that into R&B, such a smooth genre, it just melts and blends so well. Like Next on our list is Tinashe. Okay, Tinashe. Tanache has been making so many waves. She's killing it. And she just released her latest album as well, too. So definitely check that out. Tanache is killing RB. Now she's more of a dance girl. Um, unlike, you know, Coco, which is more of a vocal girl. Um, Tanache is more of a dance girl, so she's here to put the dance into RB. And she does it very well. Okay. A lot of um Tanache song, especially needs. I'm like, I feel like you guys slept on needs, and I think you guys need to stop. <laughs> but um so many of her songs are nice and catchy, and she's so good at giving a great performance. Okay, she is the up tempo for RB. Um, and that is something that we need. Um, but she is so consistent and so good and especially as an independent artist It's like so She's such an Aquarius because she's so ahead of her time um, She's doing this as an independent artist like really making waves making trends on TikTok. Okay, um, and one thing I love about Tanache is that a lot of people bring up the labels don't support them but even when Tanache was on RCA she still put out a lot like she wouldn't get the main gigs like the big award shows but she would do any show she would do all shows she would put on her own show she would do her own festivals um if she couldn't put out music she put out music on soundcloud like she was consistent she's a person that's consistent she's a artist that's gonna work regardless of who's behind her and that's what you have to be she's talked about how she's putting so much money on her tours i mean She's doing this independently. So um, I feel like Tanache is such a great example is that even if R&B doesn't get that much support, you can still pull yourself up by your own boots, um, bootstraps. You can still pull yourself up, especially with the internet age. I mean, she's done so much. And then now she's charting with her music, um, just doing tour wars, constant content all the time. I mean, Tanache is on her A game. I really wish that she would have been able to perform at the VMAs, but Tanache to me is just a perfect example as to how you can take your own career and put it into your own hands and control it. Next on our list is Thames, okay? Yes, Thames, the Nigerian artist, absolutely amazing. Um, 
Thames is such a great writer. And what's so great about Thames for R&B is her approach and her perspective. Being that she's from Africa, Nigeria, I believe, um, she's giving that flavor and that approach to R&B, which I think makes R&B so much more diverse. Um, and the thing about these R&B girls is they all give certain touches. Some girls give dance and performance. Some girls give vocals. Some girls give real writing and journalism. Thames, to me, she gives great music, um, great writing, but also that touch of African taste to R&B. You know, because it's something that we need. Um, she has such a natural sound. Her sound is so relaxing, so natural. I always feel like I'm just like in nature chilling. If the world was any, would you cry or would you try to get me? Tell me now, I want you to be clear. Yeah. Tell me now, I need you to be clear. Yeah. I will wait for you, for you. listening to Thames and I feel like her giving this African approach um, I'm, I'm just trying to be sensitive about how I say this but her giving this um, Nigerian African approach to R&B giving us a flavor of how they sound in Africa into the mainstream is so beautiful because it makes R&B so much more diverse so not only Thames is like beautiful obviously and a really good writer a really good songwriter but she's giving us also another flavor to R&B, an African flavor that sounds so rich and nice and natural. Like sometimes R&B can sound very like futuristic a lot of times, but I feel like Thames brings in the natural nature and the roots and just like, I, I just, it's such a good sound for R&B. I just love her sound. So Thames is making waves and she's really putting it out there for Africa. I feel like, Tyla is really doing it for pop, um, for Africa and pop, and I feel like Thames is doing it for Africa and R&B, you know? <laughs> next person on our list, okay, next R&B girl is Money Long, okay? Money, Money Long, all right? Money Long, do not sleep on her. Money Long is absolutely amazing. Um, what I love about Money Long is how she brings in a classic R&B hit. Like, it's not like a modernized R&B, which is nothing wrong. I love a modern R&B. Um, but Thames gives you, um, Thames. Money Long gives you that classic R&B, like that, cl like it sounds like if it came out in the 90s, you would believe it. Um, hours and hours, very classic R&B, turned it into a TikTok hit. Got it charting in Billboard. I mean, absolutely amazing. Hours and Hours did so many numbers. And then Made For Me, another classic R&B hit. Like, when I say classic R&B hit, like, the song gives me the vibe and the feeling I felt, like, when I listened to, like, Week by SWV. Like, it's a classic R&B hit, but it is so good. And it's, like... I love that for Money Long. Like Money Long is another sneak attack. Like she's another uh, sneak killer because you won't hear from her, and then all of a sudden she is all over TikTok. Like her music is just all over TikTok, like taking waves. Like she is amazing because she can really take a classic R&B song, not a modern sounding R&B song, but a classic traditional R&B song, and put it on the charts and make it a hit for everybody. Every, it's not even just R&B singers that were listening to Made By Me in hours and hours. It was everybody. You know, they, 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 I think they were playing it on Z100 um, because it was just that much of a hit. So Money Long is the deal because she can really take her songs and put them on the charts and make it a hit for everybody. Do not sleep on Money Long when it comes to this R&B thing because the girl literally takes it to the charts. I mean... Um, she can take it to the top charts and gets everybody singing these classic hits. Next girl, okay, on our list, okay, and this is a queen, okay, I consider her uh, like a queen. Summer Walker, okay, Summer Walker has to be the biggest R&B act of the newer generation to come out. Summer Walker is the queen B, um, quote unquote queen B of this newer generation of R&B girls. 
Summer Walker took waves. I mean, she really took it with waves. She really put R&B back into the consciousness, to the newer generation like Gen Z. Um, she really made waves with her album and, and, and really had some classic R&B. Like, hers is still more modernized R&B, obviously. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I love Summer Walker's music. But um, she was really the R&B princess, the queen to really take it in her accolades and the way her albums have made waves, um, the way people have been listening to her whole album um, 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 over it and still over it. I mean, they were moments. I mean, that is 2020, 2020, 2021 coded. Okay, over it, and I remember like during COVID listening to it, I remember so many people were into Summer Walker. Summer Walker was, is really the R&B mascot right now. Um, only thing is, I wish Summer Walker was more excited about her career. I wish she was more intentional, more about it. And don't get me wrong, Summer Walker shows up. She's given us a lot of music. Um, I, I'm not really complaining. She shows up. Um, but I do wish that she was a little bit more like intentional about being an artist and really wanting to be there because you know she went through that whole era where she didn't want to talk to anyone she barely wanted to sing on stage um, I felt like if she was really singing on stage and really giving performances and giving her all she would have really turned things out like really 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 owned it um, but regardless Summer Walker owns it the culture has really gravitated towards Summer Walker and put her up as the R&B girl. So that is no, nothing I can argue with. Summer Walker is that top R&B goat um, and definitely have to put her here. I would have put her as the top choice, top pick, honestly. But she's been laying low. She's been laying low. So I kind of, you know, let it go. But I would have really put her as the top girl. She technically is, but because this is about so much about what's happening now um we're gonna have to move on to the next girl and this next girl is the top girl i chose for r&b right now okay because i feel like she's making waves she's consistent and she's doing it and that top choice i chose is victoria monet okay victoria monet victoria monet is absolutely amazing victoria monet is consistent she's serious her performances are amazing her performance skills is what's so amazing because r&b is very vocal um orientated you really don't need great visuals it's not even expected in r&b r&b is all about the voice but what's so amazing about victoria monet is that she's bringing great visuals to r&b um bringing great visuals i'm telling telling a story her performance, that All Right music video is absolutely amazing. All her music videos are amazing, but the All Right one takes it to a whole different level. She is so committed to the art. And then her performances, the theatricalness, the odes to Janet Jackson, to Michael Jackson, to the greats, um, the, the story that she tells within her performances, the theatrical element. She's bringing theater into R&B, and that's amazing. Okay, again, like, it's never needed in R&B because R&B is very vocal-based, and a great vocal will take you, <laughs> will send you. <laughs> Sometimes more than a great performance. But Victoria Monet is bringing great visuals, great performances, and also great writing, great songs. Oh my gosh, her songs are so beautiful, so catchy. Um, you know, and Victoria Monet doesn't have the greatest voice. Like her voice, she has a very nice voice. She um, can sing live really well, especially for the amount of dancing she does. Gosh, you got to give her props for her live vocals. I'm like, goodness, no backtrack. Sheesh, with all that dancing. Um, but she's just such a great performer, such a great entertainer because of her visuals um, and her performance skills, her dancing, amazing, the fashion, the look, the image. It's the full package. Victoria Monet is bringing the full package into R&B. And after seeing that performance at the BET Awards and just seeing her consistency overall, 
yeah, I'm definitely choosing Victoria Monet as the top girl because she is owning it. She's taking it. She's taking the top crown. She's doing these performances. She is showing up. She's being intentional. She's being consistent. She's not complaining about being the center of attention. So I feel like she is got it because she has the vision and the consistency and work ethic to back it up and the talent and creativity. Incredibly entertaining. So Victoria Monet is my top choice for the R&B girls now. But all of these girls are my choices because all of these girls are doing absolutely amazing for R&B. Tanache, Chloe Bailey, her new album that just came out. I mean, they are doing absolutely amazing. Thames, Money Long, absolutely amazing, okay? Now, you guys tell me, what do you guys think about the R&B girls that I mentioned? Do you agree with the list? Who do you think that I missed out on? Do you think there's girls that should have been mentioned? Let me know on the comment section below. I'd love to hear your guys' comments. And I'll check you guys out on the next episode. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>